Well, hello everyone. Today we are filming something more like a blog and reason why it's in English is very simple. My uh, good friend Mike sent me a box full of candy. We thought to combine this candy eating with show and tell about event that is happening in Riga right now and the event is called Riga Shine. Uh, Star or Riga. It happens annually and it's about uh, some performances and uh, exhibition of uh, objects that uh, consists mostly of, of light. It's uh, play with the lights and LEDs and, and so on. We will try different candy after each performance or object we see. Here in car it's me, my wife and both kids we will have a committee, a uh, sweet testing com committee, committee, committee. So our verdicts will be mostly objective and, uh, and uh, we will be fair judges to the sweets of the United States of America. We finally have arrived and uh, I will introduce you to the Jolly Bunch. My wife, Linda, say hi. Marks, Monta, show me the candy. Impressive, eh? 60 bucks shipping. This box, it's heavy. It's made all the trip from Kansas, USA. Mm. <laughs> so excited, so excited. It's gonna be mostly hard candy, I know it for sure, because uh, Mike wrote me he's afraid to send me chocolate. He was afraid it's going to melt during transportation. Ta da! <laughs> it's different kind of candy. First, first things first. He told me uh, there's gonna be much of uh, candy he had in his childhood. What we are going to start with? What is this? It's some kind of soft candy. Lolly and Pops, Lollyland Pops come. Linda, check it out. Ah, there's a writing here. What it says. Inside our store are unique sweet from all over the world, including chocolates from Madagascar and so on. Each take one. One candy. I am going for the dark one. What does it look like? Greenish? Oh. It's a wrapping? Or it's already already a candy? Candy. So... Soft? Let me touch it. Eee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mmm, mm. it's gonna pull out all your teeth fillings for sure. Mine is a licorice. Mine was watermelon. Yours was watermelon? Mm. What's yours? Mm. Berries. Berries? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's funny, we cannot talk because full mouth. Mmm, the candy is very, very, very tasty. Uh, seriously, it's a, mm. it's a good thing. It's a good shit. But uh, these are quite large. They fill your whole mouth. Oh, this is awesome. So good. Really tasty. Only thing, I totally want to try different varieties of these. So... These ones, how would you rate it? Out of 10. I know you haven't tried anything else yeah. yet, but still. I cannot compare. You do not compare one being rotten shrimp. Okay, eight. Eight. Mark, check now, check to do it. No, this is a Check to get show, Mark also gives eight. 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 So our average score is 8. Mm -hmm. 
how will we manage to take all the other candies with us? This is a silent center of Riga. I used to work near here some time ago. Very beautiful place, but the problem is my camera is not suited for filming in low light. We took some candy with us so we can uh, taste it uh, while on the go. It's quite hot here today, actually it's plus 10 Celsius. Izvēlēties, ko jūs tur gribat redzēt, vai tas ir jūsu vārds uzvārds, varbūt uh, vieta, kuru jūs jūsu prāt ieguvāt, finišējot. Un tā tad uz izķēršanu noteikos pirmā vieta, vai rakstat Staro Rīga, vai vienkārši daudz laimes Latvijai simtu pirmajā dzimšanas dienā. Par to esat aizmirst uz mājās. I have no idea what this is. Oh, the Jolly Bunch. Taro Riga 19. Riga Shine 19. It's a light festival, festival of light. It's tribute to time, space, four dimensions, light and human. It's uh, each year around these dates. <laughs> It's a wall of Academy of Arts and they're making some weird projections that I cannot film. This is a National Museum of Art. It's one of the brightest places here. Since it's almost impossible to film all those performances we decided we're totally ready for new candy. Let's try these. What are these? Is there any name for these? Great value, okay. What's the name of this candy? I do not want a cherry, I want... I'm gonna try the pineapple. It's a cherry, pineapple, strawberry and lemon taste. So kids, dig in. Arcor. And these letters reminds me something of Eastern Made language. in Argentina. Argentina, okay. So, something specific. Mm. It's a very classic hard candy. Mm. Okay, yours is red. How does it taste? Sweet. Just sweet sugar candy, right? Mm -hmm. mm, it's good. It's, it's very good for this uh, exact event. Because we are going to walk around and uh, we will have plenty of time to suck on the hard candy. It reminds me of hard candy cock I sent him. <laughs> <laughs> what a hard cock. <laughs> These performances mostly are some uh, artsy type. So there's weird shit happening. Look, there's a dude chained to the tree. Two guys. Mm, goes well with the candy. Some weird trolls with exhaustion pipe in hand. Freaky. So turns out a hard candy had a filling in it. I would describe it as more tasty than usual. How would you rate it, Linda? Seven. Seven. Were the previous candy better? Yes, because I like them better. You did not like this? I don't like hard candies. They are not my favorite. Uh, favorite. Okay, Monta? Seven. Seven. Mark, six to do it. Balls, shake on check. 
Deviņi? Tev šitā garšoja labāk par iepriekšējo? Jā? Ok, Marks gives nine. He actually prefer this hard candy to the previous soft one. Uh, me, not, not so much. It's a tasty candy, but it's uh, quite usual. So I give it a good seven. So average score is eight. Jellyfish. There's actually a concert hall inside this building. It's a very historical building, but for sure nothing can be seen because my quality of cell phone in darkness is miserable. A little, little bit more of the weird shit. Kids mostly likes it. important buildings in uh, Latvia. It's not a building, it's structure. It says for fatherland and freedom. Okay, these ones are called Luffy Tuffy. So we have sour apple, banana, Strawberry and grape. Pick one. Each of you. Yeah, my Okay, I got the banana. It's again soft and weird. It looks like almost plastic. No? Isn't it too big? It's not single mouthful. Mm. Difficult to open? Mm. Okay. So, what do you say? Tasty. Look at that, what do you think? It's strange, it turns out some of us prefer banana candy. That's very rare. It's really tasty. I really like it. Mm. Seriously tasty, but it's so super sticky. Let me try it. Hmm, the grape one is mm. is the least good. <laughs> I would expect that the uh, grape one would be the best. Ah. Usually the grape juice and everything Banana is very tasty. Too. Banana is excellent, right? Mm -hmm. Which so, a uh, little 1-8 and nobody else tried his strawberry candy. What's your verdict? I like it better than the hard candy. Yes. Definitely. Seven and a half. You gave you gave seven uh, for the ha hard candy. I give this one. Actually, I would say eight, but uh, I prefer the very first candies we tried uh, better. So we can give nine to the first candy. I I I must uh, re-evaluate the first ones. The first ones were nine, and uh, these ones eight. eight. And seven for the hard candy. 
No, excellent. But very, very, very good. It turns out on each one of the packages, there are some trivia questions, like jokes. For example, uh, the Apple one says, which animal has the softest bite? And the answer is, gummy bears. <laughs> Powder. Not to be confused with the Tower of Power, nothing similar. It's uh, part of the historical wall of old Riga. Inside there, this, it's a national museum of war, hence the imagery of the military stuff. It's tribute to 100 years of Latvian army. So next candy is going to be Smarties. We have similar candy that uh, is like pressed sugar. I wonder why these are called Smarties. Wasn't the Smarties like uh, competition for the M&Ms? Very similar. You know this tube with Smarties and they are like chocolate candy. Let's try. We're opening up. Yeah, it's like a... Mm. It's like a medicine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess these are the candies uh, Mike uh, mentioned as uh, something he had in his childhood. Most probably. It's just a pressed sugar. I guess uh, the sourness come from vitamin C or something like that. Very, very average. I think uh, every nation around the world has something similar. Monta told she used to buy the like necklace made out of uh, O-rings that uh, is uh, similar stuff to this. Oh, it's a giant version. So you, uh, there's probably a small one. Mm -hmm. It tastes okay, but it's a very, very simple candy. Mostly sugar and sourness. Mm, okay. We have lots and lots of churches in Riga. It's uh, less of a religious building, more than hall for different exhibitions. Previous church was the Church of St. Peter. This one is the Church of Dome. We have so many churches. That is why we have this saying Kinder Küche Kirche.
This one is the National Theatre of Latvia. It looks really cool from a distance. Really nice. So, everyone is tired. We need more sugar. You didn't rate these Smarties? Five. 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 Seven. Seven for the Smarties. I give fair six. Uh, not because they were bad or something, because they're super simple. So, next candy is going to be Extreme Sour Mini Warheads. Eww. Different colored candy. So, I will take the red one. Also yellow. Mm, the blue. Do you want the blue? Man. <laughs> Actually, she cannot take it. It's too sour for her. Actually, the first taste is sour, but when the sour is gone, it's tasty. The aftertaste, after the sour part, it's really tasty, actually. They both got lemon. Mmm. But uh, I like this candy. It was kind of hard candy. But um, very, very tasty. Uh. <laughs> this is a concert hall of our soul. Also in North Church. Again, freaky shit. Like balls, people are rolling. Yesterday we walked through Riga three hours, we were so tired. We still haven't rated these warheads. I know for sure that my wife thinks that uh, these are too sour, but actually how these work is uh, they are sour and then suddenly become very sweet and tasty. I, uh, I myself lo love these. So, warheads, extreme sour mini hard candy, black cherry, green apple, lemon, watermelon, and blue raspberry. On these, we haven't heard your opinions. Monta, eight. you give eight to the warheads. Mark, he gives those five. Four. Four, because Linda hated these. It's weird. I give those you know, actually, I love them so much that I give nine. Uh, that is because uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the hard candy, but these are exciting and uh, I would actually take these to some trip or something. Uh, also, I think uh, if for some unknown reason you have uh, some kind of nauseating experience, these would definitely help. These are all the candies we have reviewed previously. The reason behind Twizzlers, why I asked uh, Mike and Marcy to send me these 
is because my very good friend he knew about this uh, sweets exchange program and he asked me if I can uh, ask Mike to send me these uh, Twizzlers actually yesterday I mes messaged uh, my friend and asked uh, if for the sake of this review we can uh, open a bag a little bit and pull two of these Twizzlers out just to test them because these are not for me we took out two of these what I'm going to do yes it's uh, consistency of a very hard uh, jelly candy so there are four of us uh. yeah. there's a hole inside dig in it's supposed to be strawberry but it's it's not your classic strawberry, it's not uh, simply sweet with the strawberry taste. Twizzlers twist like um, half boiled al dente <laughs> spaghetti pasta. Mark says he expected this to be more sweet. Linda, you can be fair, fair with your criticism. Um, you also thought it's quite bland and uh, you see the thing is these were not uh, advertised by Mike or Mar Marcy mm. it's something you know Elvis a uh, guy with the nickname Tumor he ordered these so by saying that these are bland and uh, not as good as expected it, uh, it uh, will do no harm and uh, it's it's totally okay so let's make it what? Five. Five. Six. 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 I give this five. Yeah, zero fat. Oh. Zero fat? Okay, that changes things. Oh, low fat snack. Low fat this snack. Is why ah, this is because Elvis is a uh, fat bastard. No, he's not. <laughs> okay, so that that that's a good excuse. So Twizzlers are nice. Because Twizzlers were lacking character and taste. Next, I insist we try atomic fireballs. I can imagine Mike already laughing at us. It's a hard candy. Mm -hmm. Shaka ball. Look at the kid. <laughs> God damn it. It's so spicy. Mark, don't be afraid to spit it out. Never this is blood. Yes, actually, we do not have these type of candies. I have never tried anything like this. It's like red pepper. Monte gave up. Marx gave up also, but later. Lynn still keep on sucking on hard balls. You see, this uh, candy had a red coating. Uh, the coating is super spicy. It has something to do with cinnamon, but actually uh, exactly the same as it was with uh, these nuclear warheads. It's super spicy and uh, to the level of uncomfortable, but just for a few seconds, a minute or maybe close to that. Actually, it could be any taste because all your taste buds are burnt off, you can't feel anything and you cannot chew it it's super hard candy but actually it still remains very spicy it's not extremely spicy but it is spicy mm. oh, the it comes, new wave yes. it comes in waves mm. Monta would you agree to try another one? Like this? Exactly like this. No. So, Mark. Tev patika? Īsti, ne? Ne patika, prasa. It was too spicy for Mark also. Monta? Spicy. You're a bunch of weaklings. You're weak. <laughs> Atomic fireballs. Out of ten. Mm -hmm. Don't be shy, don't be shy. I give 
two, okay. Three. Three. Monta? Three. Three. I give atomic fireballs five. Uh, five because uh, it's interesting, it's exciting. I know several people who love uh, super spicy things. I bet there's full YouTube of videos where little kids eat atomic fireballs. But it's nothing close to surstroming. <laughs> candy corn. Everything you see here is here because of candy corn. It was in my bucket list. I must have candy corn before I kick the bucket. I am well aware uh, that uh, these will not be super sweet. The thing is, uh, Mike and Marcy, uh, they both warned me that uh, Latvia not having uh, candy corn uh, doesn't miss out on anything. They say it's uh, kind of boring and it's uh, What's interesting about candy corn is that it's only available during the period of Halloween. Oh, it's dream come true. I do not have any expectations for the candy corn. I guess it's in all movies and comic books and cartoons since my childhood. Mmm, it's not chewy. It reminds me of our Kotinya. The thing we sent to Mike, it's completely opposite. I had two impressions. It will be whether uh, hard candy, like really hard, sugary, or it will be chewy like gummy bear. It's, it's nothing like it. It's better than I expected. Maybe these particular are very good. It's actually good. No, seriously, I like this. It's, it's awesome candy. If we had this tradition during Halloween, by the way, we celebrate Halloween like last five years or ten maybe. It's uh, just coming in uh, to this region. It's not uh, our traditional holiday. Uh, if we had this tradition to eat uh, candy corn candies, on Halloween, I would be totally fine with it. Mm -hmm. Mike, Marcy, sorry, you were wrong. I find it really, really good. It's actually seriously tasty. Mm -hmm. And I'm really, really happy. I now know how they taste. It's, it's definitely not the last time I eat uh, con candy corn. Okay, let's rate it. Nine. Nine. Mike, you here? It's nine for the candy corn. Eight. Eight. Mark. Six. Six to do it. Desmit. I have the suspicion why we love candy corn so much. Our Latvian palates are used to this taste. It's it's very, it's very, feels almost like familiar. I definitely give it nine. It's awesome. These uh, pop rocks. Crackling candy. I know for sure it's some kind of cracked candy and it will pop in your mouth. Monta, the daughter of mine, insists that you can find something similar to this in Latvian shops. I suggest everyone uh, try one single flavor and then we will move on. So let's start from um, this was what? Cherry? Cherry. Okay, I'm the first one. So, it's tasty, it's fun. It sparkles. Sparkles, crackles. It's so low. Volcano. The taste is not too strong. What I like about these is that uh, this crackling, popping sound they make. I never tried anything like this, but uh, I totally see how it's fun for the kids. It, it's not just um, like this. <laughs> Fizzy good um, medicine for hangover. It's it's really crackles. It's um, it flies all around your mouth. Aftertaste is the uh, same as the beginning. Let's move on. This was why it's wet. Tropical punch. This was tropical punch. Mmm. Mm. Ah, 
Mark says they are officially flying around his mouth. I actually don't think um, the bubblegum part of it is required because um, if you want to have a bubblegum enough to fill your mouth um, as you usually do with the bubblegum you need very much of this for example my bubblegum is tiny but then again it's cool and it's fun I give good 8 points 7 9 8 okay let's move on now we have a serious problem this fun dip Raz apple magic dip and cherry yum diddly dip the package is obviously divided in two we have something powder like most probably the dip itself and here we have a little bar of something I have no idea how you are supposed to eat it or maybe we should look up in the internet no? okay it, it really looks like drug type of thing okay and like a sticks high sugar what what you just dip and bite it off mm -hmm. okay you go first you wet it mm -hmm. and then you suck or bite it no you suck on it <laughs> Which one is sour? This uh, sugary part or this uh, dip? This part is sour. Oh, uh, but it's because it's raz apple, high sugar. It's almost tasteless. Is it edible? I'm going to dip the apple thingy. It will be really fun to discover we're eating it totally wrong. There's obviously not enough of this dipping stuff. And in the end you will end up with a, just this white stick. I really hope it's not plastic because I'm going to uh, try to eat it. It reminds me of pills, medicine, mm. it's the weirdest thing I have ever tried, mechanically, technically, I do not understand how are you supposed to eat, bite a bit of this and try dip uh, as you did with the sparkly stuff, it will be difficult to bite off. So about fun dip, uh, my initial thought is uh, it's some kind of fun process. I see how one can uh, sit in his office and just uh, dip from time to time with his white stick, but it's uh, it's so weird. I'm totally not used to anything that's consumed this way. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, six is uh, good. You gave uh, uh, nuclear bombs too, so <laughs> six is seriously good. Five. Okay. Monta. Six. I would give this five. So this is the only candy out of these that I have actually seen in our local store. I myself have never tried it. But the thing is, I am quite surprised because I thought that Pez is something local, like uh, Poland, Lithuania. You see, it's Pez Candy USA. I bet that our local Pez Candy is not uh, from USA factories. So, as you can see, we have filled the candy dispenser. I'm going to be the first who will try the Mickey. Okay. You pull the head, you get the candy. Awesome. So mine is lemon. Go on.
Mmm, I find this far better than Smarties. Mm. It's also the same pressed sugar, but it's uh, it, it has uh, much more flavor to it. So it means uh, you got um, orange one. one. Marks got uh, the what was the third taste? Apple one, uh, cherry, and you also uh, got the lemon. It tastes like, as you uh, would expect from the lemon candy, right? But it's not too sour. My impression, it's not too sour. It's actually tasty. I like it. It's um, also the format of it, uh, mm. as uh, this dispenser gives some kind of novelty to it. It's. Um, I see how kids uh, would love it. So let's make it fast. Your ratings. Eight. Nine. Eight. Eight. I also give it that. It's fun, it's cool, it tastes good and it's um I'm I'm a bit surprised when I saw the packaging I was expecting a cheaper quality. There is one more thing I want to tell you. You see this this huge ball. It's a hard candy. It's a layered hard candy with different flavors. It's called Jawbreaker. This candy to me is more like novelty, it's more like a memorabilia. As soon as I see this jawbreaker, it reminds me of time when I was a little kid and uh, me and my friends were playing uh, these 8-bit uh, uh, video game systems and same time the Cartoon Network channel appeared in Latvia so we were watching this cartoon, Ed, Ed and Eddie and uh, this was uh, one of our favorite cartoons. No way! They came! By limited edition Slovak Jawbreakers! Look! Jawbreakers? You don't say! I ordered them from the back of this comic book! <laughs> See? Too free and I ordered it! Two? Two? There's only two. And I will share them with my pals, one for each of us. That's you, he and I. We always thought and wondered how it will uh, taste, the actual uh, jawbreaker. I know there are uh, different varieties, I know there are different sizes of these, but uh, you see, this uh, to me is such a nostalgic value that I will actually never open it. What's next? Runs. Ooh, it's a different shape candy and it's very convenient to have these because it's a classic candy. It's really hard candy. At first the taste is not too overwhelming. There's a lot of these inside. You just pick one. You it's more like a random lottery. There's more flavors. You have missed the orange ones. The percentage of oranges Oh, the taste is stronger when you get closer to center. Yeah. Apple. It's also this uh, pressed sugar. So, the grape one. I love the shape of banana. Mm -hmm. Apple. I, mm, the grape is actually good. Yeah, really good. Okay, we, I, I think we can m move on. So, what do you think about runs? <coughs> Linda? Okay, out of 10. I give seven. Seven. Okay. Mark. Seven. Also seven. Monta? Seven. Seven. I would give these also seven. So seven it is. A good little treat. Next, Rainbow Nerds. The package is simply beautiful. Tiny, tangly, crunchy candy. Tiny, tangy, crunchy candy. Ooh. Wow! This is gonna be even more fun. Look at this, dear family, observe the tininess of the candy. Tiny candy. Tiny candy. Have one! Cool. No. The taste is much more pronounced than in runs. Ooh, it's extremely sour. It's super sour. At least the yellow ones. I wonder if they, uh, if I say nothing, will they leave anything for me? No. Nerd, seriously good. 
Actually, I prefer nerds to rams. Although, uh, rams are visually more attractive and nerds are not so convenient in the way you have a gazillion of small pellets. The taste is great. I really like it. And actually, uh, when you have uh, all the varieties of uh, flavors in your mouth at the same time, they blend very good. Out of 10. Eight? Eight. Baby. Nine. Nine? Eight? I give nerds nine. So, and now, dear family, hot tamales. It really looks like uh, medicine pills. Uh, fierce cinnamon flavored chewy candies. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. At first it's not hot at all. Mm. Oh, I feel a little bit hotness, no. but it's nowhere even near fireballs. Mmm, mm, I like it. This is good. I have no problem with, uh, with it at all. Mota, it's too hot for you. Man, they, they must differ inside the same box. Mine is not even mildly hot. I get um, gummy, cinnamony, seriously tasty candy. I love these. And the portion is um, good. You mean the size? The size. Okay. <laughs> Actually, one of my favorite candies in all this bunch. Mark, you're sitting first. Yes, sir. Five? Five. Okay. Eight. Eight. Monta? Four. Four. Okay. I give uh, hot tamales nine. I love this. Really like it. So, my final verdict on these all. First, Mike, Marcy, thank you. I'm really grateful. It was serious fun. We love these. Although these all are hard candies, they uh, seriously differ. It's like... Uh, this for me is uh, number one because of nostalgia. I'm totally not disappointed. I love candy corn. I will have more of it. Linda, what's your favorite candy of all of these? This like this. These ones? Yes. Are these uh, lollipops? Yes, okay, lollipops. Lollipops were seriously good. We're missing on something else. Why we do not have these? Marks. Kurustev patik vislabak. Candy corn? Seriously. From all these candies, this is your favorite? Oh, I'm proud of him. Monta? Nerds is the best candy for you. You thought so. Everyone agrees that Smarties are the least exciting ones. But why the hell then you gave so little score to nuclear fireballs? So, that's it for today. Ah, leave me some! Come on, it's almost over! I wanted to send some to my sister and mom. God damn it, stop eating it like it's food or something. Mike, Marcy, thank you. It was awesome. Let's say hello to them. Uh, Okay, bye everyone.